today we are going to create a dynamic and creative newsletter and see how just easy it is depending on the type of newsletter you want to create it could be a community newsletter church bulletin newsletter for real estate or even newsletter for business or hospital the look and feel might be quite different so this video will cover everything you need to know about how to create a professional newsletter for your business or for a client and it's going to be a step by step video so if you are new please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel to my returning subscribers i want to say thank you for watching my video and don't forget to hit the notification button to stay notified when once i release a new video so let's dive in in today's video all we need to do is to go to new and then click on new then we're going to use news then letter and then we're going to use letter because they are different format to so this particular video we're going to use letter and then click new and then double click on the rectangular tool to add a box of our drawing window i'm going to pick up a box and zoom in and draw ahead of our drawing window then make it red for instance and then i'm going to pick another box and draw then pick another box maybe i can click here drag it down and while i'm bringing it down and right click and then reduce it and then it should be like this then reduce this one up to start at the beginning of the block and then i'm going to do something here i can get a background here it's going to be one of the simple design i ever designed so i'll be looking at for it for instance this trading will be using this image okay so everything is going to be pink so right now i'm going to go to okay so i can click here to bring the eyedropper to because they are adding all i need to do is to click on the object the area i want to pick the color and then drop it and then i'm going to go to window and then add my document palette because i always wanted to remove and then change the background color to white first then add a gray color here and then here i can be able to add my right top news later so i'm going to like the click on this because since it's a newsletter so i'm going to do this and then i'm going to animate here so i'm going to do something like this i'm going to hard image here okay i'm going to draw something like this then i'm going to add it right top here so i'm going to go back to sorry I'm gonna go back to my image. I have some more right up here. So I'm gonna copy at this right top and then go up and gonna draw pick a text box, a text tool and draw, paste the right up, and then I'm gonna make it into three. What I did I control out to duplicate. They can select them since it takes and then justify to have a full size and then i can pick up a box here and draw adding okay this is going to be like my caption here um, I'm going to change the font to okay. I 
and I would love you to join. So this is going to be like a heading. So I'm going to look at a caption phone. So we're going to use Tauma for this since it's a newsletter and you can actually use any font of your choice. You can change it to select double click on the text, go to text and then change case to all cap. And then what you do is to reduce it a bit and you can click on your pen tool, Just click here and draw a line and maybe make the heading uh, a lighter pink or we can use pink and since we use pink and black so okay let's use pink and purple copy the text and then the text again okay this can be a different kinds of text so i'm gonna put in here can be a different type of image so what i did is to select the image move it to this area right click then click on power clip and then choose this container because i want to put it here and then place my image here and then and then right click on the main image power clip it inside a container and then here i'm going to blink make it black so I'm gonna copy this text this can be another write-up anyway so I'm gonna copy this text and make it white and then there can be a bit bigger so I'm just using a dummy text but I know you can also use your own text here so I'm gonna make it like this and then I'm gonna zoom in again. Maybe add another right top down here. It all depends on what you want to do, or you can actually do something like this, and then make it black. Then hold control page up to move it up, for instance. And then I'm just trying to see what I can do here. And then I can centralize it at the property bar here to move it to the center. Okay. And then here it can be dead. Okay. can just add something you can just add something then I just want to play around with something so I'm just trying to give you a layout on how to design this and then you can add an update here And then you can come here and add a little right up here and then have some kind of list of activities here if you want to get just control out to get exactly the same color to replicate so just pick your text for instance okay I'm just writing anything anyway I actually use a dummy text so you can actually choose your own depending on what you on what you are doing but if you need the tempo the temp but if you need the template, let me know in the comment box or you check the link below this video.
I will drop the template for this particular newsletter for you. I can quickly, I will drop it for you so that you can be able to download and just modify one or two things. Sorry about that. And then you can change the picture. Okay, so this is our newsletter. Where I'm most winding up. As you can see, I had transparency. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to place F4 and then F5. So this is a sample of how to design a professional newsletter in Corel Draw. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. How to design email newsletter in Corel Draw. Thank you. This I'm just using a dummy text. You can replace the text with your own text. Thank you very much for watching. I remain smart from Creative Vital Edu. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.